Now this is really rather serious for the British monarchy and in fact this particular statement could be very detrimental and dare I say even bring the British monarchy down because quite frankly right now over here in the United Kingdom there is no two ways about it. There is simply no love left for the former royal known as Prince Harry and his wife the cable TV actress Meghan Markle. As ever though let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you as ever. Thank you so much for joining me. We've had to pop into the studio today because the weather is so bad outside. Dark, miserable, windy and rainy. I know you love the updates, don't you? But seriously, it's so bad right now. But of course, it is winter and we should expect that. It's nothing to do with all the usual stuff. And of course, a lot of people are struggling wherever you are around the world. Back as ever, though, to your breaking royal story of the day. This is really rather serious because, as we now know, the ongoing battle between the former well known as Prince Harry and, of course, the British courts over here for his right to have personal security at the level of working members of the British monarchy really just rolls on ahead head and ahead. And the biggest problem really is this. Of course, he decided, as we know, alongside his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, to quit, you know, to move over uh, to the other side of the world because they were no longer wanting really to be full-time working roles. Our late and wonderful monarch gave him the option. They didn't want to do what she suggested, which was either you're fully in or you're out. She made it very clear. But according to Prince Harry now, they were forced out of their particular roles. Once again, of course, really some people might suggest blatant uh, lies. There's no two ways about it because Prince Harry's book tells a totally different story. And in many different interviews, he said, you know, he didn't necessarily feel that he fitted in with the idea, the working royal type thing, or what the prototype was for being inside the British monarchy. So why is this a problem for senior members? Well, quite frankly, once again, it paints them very badly. It's basically saying that, you know, other people forced him and his wife to flee halfway around the world and take up all of these lucrative, uh, you know, formats like Netflix, Spotify and book deals. It wasn't their fault, once again, always back to being the victim. But the bigger situation is this. Now, while the judge takes time to deliberate exactly uh, where they go from here and really whether Harry and Meghan will be afforded the luxury of full-time security each and every time they return back to the United Kingdom, and Prince Harry states basically that it's all to do with the fact that it's regarding his children, his children that have barely been back in this particular country. And of course, let's not forget the recent christening of Princess Lily, not one senior a member of the British monarchy attended. We know the reasons behind that. But if the British taxpayer has to fund it, this is going to look incredibly bad for the senior members of the British monarchy. It would really start the whole Republican debate again. No one wants to pay for royals that are simply not representing the country, and more importantly, on the other side of the world. Even if, of course, he remains and will always remain the youngest son of our king. It simply won't wash. Harry and Meghan know exactly the role that they're playing and more importantly how this is going to sit. Very difficult times once again and quite frankly on a day that everybody should be celebrating the fact that once again Catherine the Princess of Wales will be hosting to great success her yearly carol service. It truly is a developing story but not one that the royals want to wake up to. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.